Nothing happens in this town that I don't hear about across my counter. Metro City has always been a breeding ground for low-life scum. It just so happens I'm the garbage man. A dick to be exact. My name's Ethan Thomas. I keep two magnums in my desk. One's a gun. I keep it loaded. The other's a bottle. It keeps me loaded. It's a tough job, but then I'm a tough guy. I got a call from a G-man. He's a dick like me. If you ask me, two dicks don't go together. But he said he had a case. A murder. Second in Charles. I headed over. I could tell I was late to the party. I could hear the sirens from around the corner. And as I drove up, I could see the lights flashing. Like a Chicago hook at midnight. Thomas! I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Body's this way. The G-Man said he had a case. He sounded like a case himself. But I can't choose who I work with. You gotta crouch to get under the tape. I picked a bad day to quit smoking. Something stank that night, and it wasn't the old man or the corpse. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Old damn city's crawling with sick killers. Matchmaker, they called him. A real killer, the G-Man said. And it was my job to find him. God, and why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Or some place not so damn dark. The G-Man was a real pill, the kind that made you choke. Jesus H. Nearly shot the bastard. <sighs> Come on, this place is creeping me out. I could already tell the matchmaker was Splitsville. No sense hanging around a place like this. Even if you had a reason to. With any luck tonight, I'd be playing matchmaker with this guy's head and a slug for my 45. Your stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. Darkness? What did he know about darkness? Had he ever had a man die in his arms? Had he ever killed somebody? I took point and left the crumb to his trail. The G-Man had a face that suggested someone upstairs had a weird sense of humor, but I wasn't following him for laughs. I needed information. Becker here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent? At least the bull had some respect. Time was crawling by like a sick cockroach. I went inside and I didn't like what I saw. The dame was laid out on her back, motionless, her legs spread apart. She looked like Lindsay Lohan on a Sunday morning. Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime, and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. The dame was a blonde, and blondes always meant trouble. I felt sick. Real sick. So sick I could taste it. The mannequin's eyes stared at me with the vacant expression of a DMV employee. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. I started sniffing around for clues. 
Her hair glistened in the light, like a nose hair after a sneeze. In her final moments, her facial expression looked as surprised as a penguin in a microwave. laser works better in the dark. The Nick fit was getting to me. Two days without cigarettes. The hallucinations, though, actually began the day before, after I ordered takeout from P.F. Chang's. The G-man stood by the door while I did all the work. Typical. But Snoopin pays the bills. Like Bill Johnson, my bookie, and Bill O'Hara, my bartender. Processing image. That's it. The same mark. <sighs> exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. I didn't like seeing cheap hoods mess with a sweet kid like this. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. The crime scene was cold. As cold as a Chicago winter. We weren't gonna get any more answers here for now. It's coming from in here. The G-man smelled a coffin nail. Finally woke him up from his hibernation. Why he was concerned about the cigarette and not the dead body was beyond me. Dang it! I can smell the cigarette smoke. The office looked like my own office back home, except of course it didn't say private eye on the window. He's right above us! Call for backup now! This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspects still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becca, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. Call for backup for one guy? I started to think the G-man might not be all there upstairs. All clear, Agent. Of course, I wasn't gonna complain. I was happy to be ready the old man. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. And besides, I had my two best men on it already. Jack Daniels and Mr. 45. Agent Thomas, Officer Becker. I don't know if they're on a new drug or anything. that. Thomas Dickinson, there's one coming your way. Addict amped up on something. I spotted the matchmaker's goon up the hallway and I prepared to introduce him to a friend I keep very close to my heart. Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Fuck you! My friend was an eloquent speaker. He made two profound arguments. Oh yes, the city's full of them now, Thomas. Addicts, vagrants, psychotic individuals gone terribly bad. They come in all kinds, but mostly violent. The gorilla was an acquaintance of mine, Aces Jones, not the brightest candle in a church. He was pushing up daisies now. That's what you get when you bring a 2x4 to a gunfight. I 
I saw another goon lying on the floor. Last thing I needed was him calling for backup. It was Spencer the Menace Trice. I gave him a taste of my size 12s. I think the taste disagreed with him. I saw some pills in a closet. The pills would take the pain away. What better way to deal out pain than to not be able to feel it yourself? I headed upstairs as the night rained on my shoulders like a Chicago storm. There was more to this caper than I had bargained for. I hadn't started this thing, but it was up to me to finish it. It was a dark day, maybe normal for this time of year, but today the big city felt even darker and more sinister. It was what folks called the dead of winter. The dirt had mixed with the ice and snow until the alleys were plastered with a crunchy, gritty brown. And I just walked into work. It was cold out. So cold it even drove the beggars inside. My hand would stick to the door for a split second every time I opened a new room. The air downtown was cool and moist. The clouds were heavy, laden ripe with rain. I had little to go on this time, but my partner did get a few bites. <coughs> the thug ate lead like a robot at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The bodies were really starting to pile up. It was Casey the plumber Raybuck. Unfortunately for him, his plumbing wasn't working no more. I saw a dead bird on the window. It wasn't the only dead bird I'd seen this night. I moonlight as a taxidermist. I guess you could say both my careers have me up to my elbows in the dead. The siren's call of the bottle of pills came back to me. Not only had I given up smoking, but I was running low on old Jack Daniels. I was just another gumshoe, bumbling his way through the concrete jungle, dying to feel something. Shadows on the wall danced like a Chicago stripper. The sun had gone down, but the artificial light of the street lamps had come back up, painted images on the wall, dancing like demons in your heart. <laughs> 